What's going on guys? Welcome back to Be Modified. Right here you can see we got the wheels off the Sonoma. And today we're finally going to be painting them. Now, as you guys can see, these wheels are not in that great of shape right now. Somebody didn't really take that good a care of them. The chrome is peeling off in certain places, which I don't know, it's bound to happen I guess. But today we're going to sand these down, take care of all that and get them painted in a different color. Now, like I said before, guys, I know there are far more important things to be doing to the truck right now, but I hate chrome, and I really want to do this because it's going to change the truck. It's going to change the way the truck looks a lot. And also, I got a new set of tires. Well, they're used, but new to me, and they're low pros, so that's going to make the truck look even, even more better. So I'm really excited for this, guys. This is what we're going to be painting the wheels with today. I chose this duper color wheel paint and i know it's spray paint but i've seen lots of videos on it and it works out really well let's see there's the color we're going with graphite i think it's going to look really good with that blue and right here we're going to hit it with this self-etching primer first after we sand them of course and then once we paint them see i got three cans here i watched a guy on youtube do it and he got by with three cans of paint i think he used one can of primer and one can of clear coat so that's what's going to happen today guys we're gonna we're gonna sand these wheels down and then hit them with that primer paint and clear coat and then hopefully it'll turn out really nice now like i said i've got some different tires over there so i'm not really too worried about getting paint on these as you guys can see there I haven't really worried about it that so far now before we go ahead and move these wheels into the storage room where the paint booth set up I'm going to do the sanding process right here in the garage because I don't want all that mess out in the storage room because I do have carpet out there and what I'm going to do is just throw down some cardboard over the carpet to protect it from the spray paint when we do paint the wheels but other than that I don't want to have to clean up all of the sanding mess that comes from this. Now as far as sandpaper goes guys what I'm going to do is hit it all on my orbital sander with this 220 especially the inside of the wheels and then I'm going to go through and wet sand it all with this 400 and then 600. Hopefully after that it'll be nice and smooth and we'll get a nice even smooth paint job and it'll look real good. <laughs> we hope so. So I'm going to throw some gloves on and we'll get to sanding. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and I've almost got these wheels ready for paint But I did find some imperfections that the sander just wouldn't take out So I'm gonna show you guys what we're dealing with So On the edge of the rims here we got our normal curb rash And it's not too bad on the wheels. I mean it might look pretty deep, but it's really not And what I found out is that if I take my Dremel tool here with the little sharpening stone on it it does a pretty good job. I started doing it right here. You see right there, I started to do it. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it actually started to take it out. So that's what we're doing right now. But other than that, I've only got that one wheel left to sand, except for the backside of all the wheels. I gotta do the backside of them. You can see in there that it's still pretty rough. I gotta sand all that yet. But we're almost there. Just uh, hold tight and 
we'll be ready for paint in no time. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and got my wheels all the way sanded and then I moved them in here to my little makeshift paint booth and I also went ahead off camera and got them all waxed and grease removed and I went and tack cloth them all up even got the center caps right there so now we're just gonna go ahead and take our primer and paint that I got set out over there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna primer the face of them and then I'll stand them up on their sides so I can primer the back of them and then I'll lay them back down and we can paint them after that the same process and we'll also do the same process for the clear coat and with the first layer of clear coat I got a little trick I'm gonna do to try to make them sort of match the truck I'll show you guys what I mean here in just a second because I forgot to bring it out with the paint let me go grab it real quick and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about all right so here's what I was talking about guys I got this little metallic powder that kind of matches the color of the truck and this salt shaker here had too big of a holes on it for it to come out the way I want it to. So I just put some tape over it. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I just put some tape over it. And then I used a little safety pin to poke some smaller holes in it. And it works pretty well for dusting on top of things. So that's my idea here is after we get them painted, after we get the wheels painted, I'm going to get them clear coated. And the first layer of clear coat, I'm going to dust this blue metallic on them. So that way we can lay another clear over that. And hopefully when they're, when they're on the truck and in the sunlight, they'll have this metallic color that kind of blends with the paint color on the truck. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on that idea. I think it's going to turn out really sweet, but we'll find out in the end together. <laughs> so, I'm going to throw on my paint mask and we'll get the primer in these wheels and get them all painted up and get them back on the truck. So sit tight and let's get this job done. Alright guys, coat number one on the face of the wheels is done. I'm going to let that dry for 10 minutes, hit it with a second coat, and then same thing, let it dry for 10 minutes, and then we'll hit it with a third coat, and then once that's done, we'll flip them up on their side again, and paint the back side. So, I'm going to let these dry for 10 minutes, and we'll get back after it. Well guys, the final coat is on the face of the wheels before the clear coat. And man, it has a lot of metallic in it just by itself. It's going to look really crazy when we throw that first clear coat on it and dust that blue metallic into it. Because that blue metallic has some pearl in it also. So it's going to look sweet. These things turned out pretty awesome. Now it's time to stand them up, paint the back side of them, and then we can start clear coating. Guys, so we got all of our coats and color on. Now it's time to put our first coat of clear and sprinkle on that magic dust. Alright y'all, 
Trying to get down with this distance. See what happens. Hopefully it all turns out. Looks like it will. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna work guys. I'm gonna continue doing this and I'll get back with you. Alright guys, all of our coats are finished. Now we just wait till morning so I can clear out and see what it looks like in the sun. And then we can get them back on the truck. Well, first we'll have to go get our new tires put on. But you get the idea. Can't really see the blue right now. But yeah, it's gonna pop in the sunlight. So, I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow. Alright, guys, so it is yet again one more day for this stinking wheel project. But as you can see, they're painted and back on the truck. I did end up having to wet sand and buff them to get them to the bit of a gloss finish that they have. And I apologize for how dark it is right now, guys, but they aren't 100%, but they do look way better than they, than they did. Now, as you guys may or may not be able to tell, depending on how dark it shows up on video right now, but I don't have my new tires put on yet because I just don't have the funds for it right now. So I went ahead and put the wheels back on the truck anyway, just to get it off the jack stands. And then we come around to the driver's side. Now, as you can see over here, this center cap is not on. And what happened was I went to tighten it down and tighten it down too far and broke it. So now, I got to re-plastic glue that back on there. You can see I already tried doing it once. All four of them were messed up when I got them. What that is is some plastic epoxy. And it held pretty good, but I just tightened it down way too far. The front one, having a bit of an issue with it as well. But I'm going to try to get it all figured out. And hopefully we'll be able to run center caps with these rims. If not, I might end up buying new rims. I don't know. I like them, but I'm just not dead set on the way they look on the truck, you know? I mean, it is what it is. They came with the truck, so that's kind of why I'm rolling with it, but I'm really debating on trying to afford some different ones here in the near future. But that's what it is, guys. You can see I got a bunch of junk in the bed of the truck. Some of it's junk. Some of it actually goes to the truck. So. Roll up in here if you guys want a little sneak peek is what's going on in the future. See I got my roll pan and stuff painted sitting in here. That's another video to come so be on the lookout for that guys. So that's probably going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. If you enjoyed today's content, smash that like button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Help support the build guys. And just like that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.